Tonight, the Mississippi State Department of Health confirming another child has died from COVID-19. Officials tell us the child was younger than one year old. It's the 14th pediatric death from COVID-19 in Mississippi. State epidemiologist Dr. Paul Byers telling us this highlights the importance of staying up to date on vaccinations, telling us vaccination not only protects you, but it also protects those around you who may not be eligible for vaccination or who may be at a higher risk. This news comes after several areas of the state are seeing more and more COVID cases. Tonight, Bill Snyder checks in with a local radio personality after he came down with the virus. 72 degrees and fog in the forecast. Sorry, folks, I was going back to my old radio day since we're in here at Coast 102 with Super Dave in the morning. Greatest hits, Coast 102, Super in the morning. Hey, how are you doing? Happy we're talking to him because like many of us, he came down with COVID. It was recent and it wasn't as bad as what some call the OG COVID of back in 2020. I wasn't scared when I found out I had COVID. Now, I, my mom lives with me now and she's 81 years old. So you certainly think about her. I, mean, I thought about her and I didn't want her to get it. Coast 102, greatest hits of all time, Phil Collins and Super E in the morning. But honestly, uh, she did get it and she was only sick for maybe a, a day or two. And no, it took me nine days to test negative again so I could come back to work. And with some of the cases in Mississippi being elevated, we thought we'd check in with him to see how he's doing and Super Dave is recovering nicely. We've come a long way and the virus has changed, you know, so, so that, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff going into it. The medications, the way the healthcare system's taking care of everything is so much different than in the beginning when we just didn't know. But it's still, it's not pleasant to have it, even if you get it now. And it's to encourage people with disabilities. To it's like a roller coaster. Even after I test negative, there's still those ups and downs. You feel great for a little while, then you get really tired. It's cold season, it's flu season, COVID season, and he and others say, just remember that when you're out and about. Very simply, simply put there. Here in Gulfport, Bill Snyder, WLOX News Now. The State Department of Health's weekly COVID update has been delayed. However, between December 27th and January 2nd, more than 5,700 new COVID cases were reported in the state.